High Crow Shutters of the World. Hope you remember the two tutorials that I uh, did time ago on how to work, how to crochet with the cord. If you don't remember, don't, not, that there is no problem because uh, you have the link below this tutorial. And with that technique, we will work together on this bag. Now, I think it's a perfect summer bag, um, beach bag, or a nice bag to wear, to put uh, your work. Uh, and in, when you want to go out and work uh, crochet somewhere in a park, or I don't know. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this project. So from the tutorial of how to work on rectangular shape with the cord, uh, we already have the bottom of our bag. So it's really easy for now on to work in length actually the, the bag. So we have this, you have the link of that tutorial on, uh, below this tutorial. So it, would be re it will be really, really easy to continue on from this. Now, I stopped uh, here, so I worked six rounds. This is the first round with uh, the other color and the rest is in... Uh, this um, color. Now it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we must have six in each uh, part side. So we have the short sides of the rectangle and the long sides of the rectangle. And here I already uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And there are six everywhere and this is very important and the number of stitches so the two sides long sides must be equal um, the same and the two short sides must be the same so I have 40 stitches on long side one and other so there are 18 80 actually and 13 and 13 on one and uh, one side and other side uh, short sides which means is uh, I have a total of 106 stitches all around and this is what I um, what I need to know now to begin to work the bag in length so the total number of the stitches which is 106 in my case now you have on my blog the written instruction if you want to work it exactly uh, my measure you have the measure all that you need now i want to uh, i want to begin to work in length and the first round will be worked only in the um, front loop of the stitch so not back loop front loop and we will need only one marker so we don't need any more four markers because we stop increasing so i can just take them off and actually i am taking them off and i need just this one and this one i will put it on my last single crochet worked so we'll be we'll mark actually the beginning of a new row uh, round sorry so the beginning and the end so this is the last stitch now i know that this is la this is the last stitch because i will continue on working in um, spiral technique so it's very important to know where a um, round begins okay so let's get started with our first round for the length so let's say for the body of the bag. So this is the bottom. Now we're going and work the body of the bag. So as I said, the first, only the first one will be worked into the front loop, which is this. How can I? This is the front loop. And of course we worked over the cord too. And just continue on like this. Of course until we reach our marker so it's really easy this is one round we go on we work only front loops and of course we work the cord to like this perfect so 
So I finished my first round and this is what I have. And now from now on, for the length that we want, we will work like this. Now this was the first round for the length. We will work four more, so a total of five, exactly with the same number of stitches. Then into the sixth round, we will increase randomly six times. Randomly, but uh, from this six increases, we will put two on one long side, two on the other long side, one on short side and one another one, so the last one on the other short side. So two, two, one, one, okay? Randomly, but we have some, some rules here, okay? So, in each of our sixth round, we increase six times, as I explained it before. And that's all for the length that we need. And then we will put the handles and of course I will show you how to put the handles. But uh, as you can see, it's really easy. Now, if you want it larger, you can increase um, in each of your fourth round or your um, fifth round, okay? So you increase uh, more, that's all. Now, I will finish mine and I will be back to show you how to work the handles. Okay, now if you want to know uh, how large, more or less, how large will be, uh, I will show you how I um, I thought it. So here I have six rounds, okay? So I just measured this, these six rounds and they are about five centimeters. So now I know that on my pattern I just go on and increase in each, in each of my sixth round. And I want, I just figured out I want it 25 centimeter length so I will increase each 5 centimeter once which means I will increase 5 times 6 stitches which means I will add so I will at the end I will have a total of uh, so my total of stitches plus 30 because it's 5 per 6 so is um, multiply with six, sorry, actually, which means 30. So I will add it 30 stitches. On my 106, I will have 136 stitches. And this is what I know. And from here, you can just figure out if you want it larger or, uh, yes, larger. So you can go on and increase in each of your third, fourth or fifth row you can round sorry you can change it um, while working so it's not something that it's a rule if you begin with uh, increasing in each of your sixth um, round you just have to keep on going increasing in each of your six no you can change you can increase in each of your, of your fourth so depends it's the shape that you give to your bag so nothing nothing difficult okay so i will just continue on in length my bag and of course i will be back to show you how to put the handles and now another just one more trick let's say it's that now that i have worked my first round of the bag of the body of the bag now i know that i have here my loops left unworked and this is my first so it's really easy to identify it which means it's easy to count them because I know that in each, each of my six I have to I have to increase so I will at one time I will count one two three four five okay this is my six so I have to increase and so on and also I can put in each of my sixth one marker just to know that here I increased so uh, I, I can count uh, all the rounds easily. Okay, that's it. So I finished the length. I worked five times six, um, six rounds and in each of my sixth I increased. So I have now 
uh, I began with 106 and I have now 136 stitches all around and now for me the length it's perfect I want to begin with the uh, handles so for the handles we just put our bag like this okay and now I just it's half and half I don't want to count very much I just want to see I already put the markers here but uh, I just want to explain how I uh, I did it so I count from here from the marker so from where we begin the, the round I count 60 16 sorry so 16 on here so 16 here and I thought it was not enough so I put two more 18 and 18 and then I put the marker here and here and here will be the um, handle on the other side exactly the same thing so for from the other so from here to here I have 18 so from here I will count 18 too 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 okay so and on the other side the same thing and now I will begin to work this round until I reach my marker stitch so I'm back I worked my 18 stitches and now I will work directly on the cord exactly the number that I will skip here from one marker to another and it's like this I will single crochet like this so I am actually working on the cord so I have here all my stitches and now I will go back to work on my single crochet first one this one with the marker but don't forget to work around the cord too like this we join again the cord to the bag actually and we continue on until we reach the other marker then we will work again on the cord and back on the from the other marker back on the single crochet with the cord of course we will continue on this round until the marker that marks actually the the end of the round and then we will work exactly as uh, we normally worked so far for the bag for four to five four to six actually rounds for the handle so now i am just continue on on my blog, blog, of course, you have exactly the number of stitches, how I divide it, so you don't have problems. Like this, just continue on to work my stitches. So I finished the bo or the border, the handles. I worked four more rows around one, two, three, four. Sorry, it's one, two, three, four. Yes, four more uh, rounds and a round of crab stitch or uh, yes, the crab stitch and. Now I want to show you how I work the crab stitch and how to actually finish the bag and what you have to do to uh, with the cord. Now here is my marker. So at the end of the round, last round of single crochet, I just slip stitched 
into the stitch with the marker. Then I chained one and began working to the right side the crab stitch. The crab stitch is worked without the cord. So as you can see, I have here the cord. So I work it without the cord and I work it with a 3.5 millimeters hook. So it's really, really tight. All the project is worked with a 5 millimeters hook and actually the yarn is to be worked so it's suitable for a 5 millimeters hook. So it's a little bit difficult to work it with a 3.5 millimeters hook but uh, believe me it gives you a nice and tight um, crab stitch to refine it. Now we don't need any more the marker. We can cut the cord a little bit longer like this and now let's see how to actually finish it so I have some stitches here and I just want to show you how to finish first of all with the crab stitch as you can see it's really really tight but as I said it gives you a very nice border and this is what we want. Now we will go over the first two stitches. So actually over them. We just want to work. Okay, one and now I just work here. First two or three stitches. Okay, just to give a nice and I think we can say we are ready. And we want to uh, just cut a longer yarn like this. And with this yarn, I just want to sew. the cord too on this side. I take my needle like this and I'm ready to sew inside. First of all I will take a few stitches and now go on and try to work over the cord like this Go back and back again. So until the cord is well covered like this, well covered with the yarn. This is the most important thing. And now I can help with a tool like this it's easier actually okay so can you see it's like this that we have to uh, just go on for a little bit more and the rest will be cut so my bag is ready and now to actually close it you can use a uh, magnetic button clasp actually I will use I don't have it now but I have to buy it and I think I will put it inner here on the inside actually and from my point of view it's the perfect way to to close this uh, bag or you can work a flap and with a normal button so depends on it's your choice actually this is the bag, hope you enjoy, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe for more other tutorials. See you at the next tutorial, bye bye!